Hi, my name is Dr. Lux and I'll be your doctor today. Hi, I'm Jamila. Nice to meet you, Jamila. Welcome to my clinic. Nice to meet you too. So we have an appointment today for a head-to-toe examination. Mm -hmm. And that's a very nice accent. Where are you from? Thank you. I'm from Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been with us in the country for? It's been almost six years. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Very nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Any concerns that bring you in today that I should know about? Mm, not really. Just wanted to do the full checkup. Okay. And I see here that we don't have your medical records from Kazakhstan. So mm. that's very good that you came for a full examination. May I please have your date of birth? It's, it's February 11th, 1998. 1998. Okay. Do you have any allergies that you're aware of? Mm, no allergies. No allergies. Are you on any medication? No. Have you had any major surgeries, any trauma to the body? No surgeries. Good. Have you experienced blurred vision or double vision any time in your life? I have. It happened a couple of times. Really? Tell me about that. Um, it happened just when it was very hot weather once, so it just felt like I was losing my consciousness. So okay. all the eyes were very blurry and it was like very dark, but it, it stopped with maybe like in two minutes. Hmm. Okay. It was scary. So the hot weather was the reason why? I think so, yeah. And how long ago did that happen? Maybe like eight, ten years ago. Eight, ten years. And have you experienced that ever since? No. No. Okay. Any tingling sensations in your body? Any prickling, sharp pain or zaps anywhere on your skin? Sometimes on the face. On your face? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Especially when the wind is blowing. I feel like all my face is kind of tingling. Have you ever been diagnosed with any neurological disorders? No. No. Okay. And when did you last have any blood tests done? Mm, last year. Last year. Mm. Do you remember if there were any abnormal results, anything concerning? No, it was good. Everything good. Was mm -hmm. Okay. Gonna make a note of that. Do you have any pain anywhere in your body right now? No. No. No pain. Okay. So what I'm going to do is a full body mm -hmm. assessment from your head all the way down to your toes. I'll make sure to check for any neurological signs of any abnormalities. Um, and um, yeah, we'll get a baseline on you. Sounds good. Great. Okay, I'm going to... Start off by sanitizing my hands. Okay. I'm going to check your temperature. Okay. Have you had any flu-like symptoms over the last couple of weeks? No. No. Good. Okay, this is going to go over your forehead and behind here. 97.9, so very good. good. Okay. <laughs> you don't have a fever. <laughs> nice. I'm glad I do. Okay. I'm going to check for your levels of oxygenation okay. in your blood. So may I please have your index finger? Okay, can just relax. Okay, good pulse, 99% oxygenation, so no signs of any concern. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and listen to your heart and your lungs. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make sure that I sanitize the stethoscope first. The 
this is just an alcohol pad, okay? Start off by listening to your heart. Okay, it's a bit cold. You can just breathe normally. I'm looking for any murmurs. Any skip beats. And just close your eyes and relax. Okay. I'm able to hear S1 and S2. I'm not hearing any additional sounds. Good steady rhythm, not hyperdynamic. Going to listen with the bow sign as well for the more superficial sounds. Good. Going to check your lungs next. You can take a deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Good. Okay, so no adventitious sounds, no crackling, no signs of pneumonia. I'm going to listen to your carotid artery as well, right on your neck. For any bruits. Quite normal. All right, I'm gonna set this aside. Okay. And I'm going to begin by palpating your head and doing a scalp inspection, and mm -hmm. then I'll move my way down to your ears, eyes, nose, mouth, arms, abdomen, feet, and legs. Sounds good. As well as the back. Okay. I'm going to grab my medical gloves. Sure. Just a light palpation, checking for any lumps, bumps, tenderness. I'm going to apply light pressure. Okay. Checking the mastoid bone process behind the ear. Any pain here? No. down on your ears. Good. Okay, I'm going to feel your head from the back. Okay. Right. I'm going to do light tapping. And um, percussion on your head and uh, let me know if you feel any discomfort.
going to percuss your face as well. I see your eyes flinching, which is a good, good sign of a sensitivity there. Going to check your clavicles. Good. Good. That feels so good. Good. I'm happy that it was a pleasant experience. Next up, I'm going to just check your scalp really quickly and do a scalp inspection in the front of your head here. Okay. And then I'll focus on your ears. Okay. I'm looking at the distribution of your hair, the color of your scalp, no signs of folliculitis in the front. Or alopecia. Okay. Is it okay if um, I unclip your ponytail? Sure. Please look over to your left side and down. Uh, good. hair distribution. I'm going to check for any abnormal breakages next.
All right. Next up, I'm going to focus on your face. And um, I'm first going to check the skin. Okay. And we'll do a couple of sensory tests mm -hmm. to make sure that uh, from a neurological point of view, it sounds okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and begin with an inspection. And I'm looking for micro lesions, abnormal moles, any scars. Can you just close your eyes and relax. Okay. No lumps or bumps on the face. Eyebrows are symmetric, good hair distribution, eyelashes are normal. The color of your lips is uniform. Okay, good. I'm going to palpate your lymph nodes next. Right. I'm going to begin with the pre-auricular leaf notes over in the back and if you can now uh, move your head towards your yes left side good post auricular in the back and pre auricular lymph node in the front Parotid right next to it, tonsillar, not enlarged, occipital in the back, Superficial cervical, deep cervical, and posterior cervical. Okay, good. Submental and submandibular on both sides from the frontal position. The supraclavicular lymph nodes above the clavicles, not enlarged and mobile. The axillary one. Got no enlargement noted and the pectoral. Got and over on this side. Can move your head towards your left. Preauricular, postauricular, Like leaf nodes are not enlarged, and occipital and deep cervical in the back. Good. All right, now you can open your eyes, and um, we're going to do a test that 
called Sharper Doll. May I please have your palm? So I have here this device mm -hmm. for doing sensory neurological testing. Okay. And this side is what I call doll. And this is sharp. So go ahead and keep your eyes closed. And I'm going to touch on your face, your chest, your arms. And um, I want you to tell me if you feel sharp or dull. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Next up, I have here two devices that are quite cold, and I want you to keep your eyes closed okay. and to tell me if you feel me touching you with one or two. So just say one or two. Stop, I'm going to touch you with something that's very, very soft. It is the softest object I have for testing neurological responses. So keep your eyes closed and just say yes if you feel it. Next up, I have here something slightly sharper. <laughs> it's not painful. If I have, may I have your palm? Is that okay? It's okay. <laughs> All right. Um, keep your eyes closed and tell me if you feel one or two pinwells. Mm -hmm. Testing your response to the pain stimulus. Thank <laughs> you. 
Next up, I'm going to check your sensation to uh, your ability to sense vibrations. Mm -hmm. So I have here a tuning fork mm -hmm. and when I strike it, it's going to create a vibration. And I'm going to place it at various points mm -hmm. on your bony prominences. And I want you to try to localize it, so tell me where you're feeling it. Okay, with your eyes closed. Next up, I'm going to do a visual inspection of your arms mm -hmm. and I'm going to look for any signs I may have missed, any potential edema, not noting it. Please have you hold the palms up like this. I like to inspect them for red palm syndrome, mm -hmm. palmar erythema, not noted. Okay, good. Going to check your nails too for any signs of clubbing, pinning. Capillary refills are normal. in between your fingers. I'm not noting any potential moles or melanomas. Good. Any pain here? No. Good. All right. Oh, you're quite warm. I'm not seeing this very often. Usually everybody has cold, cold palms. Just take a couple of notes, those observations. Right. All good. All good, yes. Next up, I'm going to check your eyes. To begin by just testing for your pupil response. So go ahead and look straight for me. Good. And now look at the tip of my nose. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, I'm going to check for the consensual response. Good. Next 
first up I'm going to take a peek at your optic nerve in your eye and I'm going to use my ophthalmoscope for that. Mm -hmm. Are you wearing contacts right now? No. Do you usually wear glasses? No, no glasses. All right. Now you can just look into the distance and keep your eyes closed, um, opened. Going to make sure that I can see you well. Good, perfect. And I'm going to come really close and inspect your macula, retina, and look just behind your eye. Okay. No popped blood vessels. Optic nerve looks intact. Can you look right into my ophthalmoscope? Good. No signs of any macular degeneration. No scratches on your cornea. Gonna take a look over on the other one as well. And look into the distance, right? Okay. Sclera is white on both of them. Normal optic nerve. Optic disc is well defined. Macula is intact. And now look into my ophthalmoscope. Perfect. Healthy eyes. I'm going to check for your vision acuity next and I have here what's called a Snellen chart okay. and um, can you extend your arm there we go so right about here can you read me this line F P H good and I'll cover one eye and read to me the most the bottom most line L T F P H good and um, now cover the other eye and read to me the bottom most line from the last letter to the first. H P F T L. Good. And what color is this? Red. Red. Good. Mm -hmm. And this one? Green. Good. And now uncover both of your eyes. And can you tell me which circle is bigger? Eight or nine? Nine. Good. 2020 vision. Good. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to look inside your ears mm -hmm. and um, evaluate the state of your tympanic membrane. Okay. Have you ever had any tinnitus, abnormal sounds that you're hearing in your ears, um, loud popping sounds that come out of nowhere? No. Not good. Okay. Um, move your head over towards your left side. And I'm taking a look at the oracle of the ear, behind the ear. No discharge, no inflammation. Do you feel this? Yes. And this? Mm -hmm. Good. Right, I'm going to take a peek inside. Normal tympanic membrane. Pearly gray color, well defined margins. Good, no signs of any infection or inflammation. A little bit of wax build up, but that's normal. All right, I'm going to do the same over here. You feel this? Mm -hmm. And this? Yes. Good. Okay. Good. Normal tympanic membrane. No signs of a cerebral fluid build up. Inner ear looks perfectly healthy. Okay, I'm going to put my otoscope back. And next up, I'm going to test your hearing. Mm -hmm. So close your eyes and tell me which side 
Do you hear me making a sound left or right? Okay. Left. Good. Right. Right. Good. And um, keep your eyes closed. Do you hear the sound coming towards you or away from you? Towards me. Away. Okay. Can you point to the sound now? up I'm going to focus on your nose and your mouth. Have you had any discharge that um, you know, doesn't go away? Any infections of the nose? Sinus inflammation? No. no? Never. Okay. I'm going to begin by palpating your sinuses in mm -hmm. your nose. Good. All right. I'm going to begin by feeling the frontal sinus. And the maxillary sinus. Good. I'm going to gently tap on the maxillary sinus. Any pain there? No. Good. Any pain there? Mm -mm. Good. The Edmoid and Spanoid sinuses towards the ears, not enlarged, no tenderness noted. Good. Okay, keep your eyes closed. And I'm going to give you something to smell. And I want you to try to identify the smell. Coffee. Good. I'm going to obstruct one of your nares. Good. Can you smell this? Mm, barely. <laughs> barely. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of a congestion over there. Let's try the other nair. Can you smell that? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> okay, so your nose is a little bit a little bit stuffed, that's mm -hmm. okay. You could smell the stronger coffee smell, so I'm not concerned. Let's check for the patency of your nerves as well. Um, take a deep breath in and out. Good. And take a deep breath in and out. Good. I could hear you breathing. All right. Let's take a peek inside the back of your throat as well. Right. Um, stick out your tongue and say, ah. Okay, no signs of any infection or inflammation, good teeth, healthy color of the tongue. Good, perfect. All right, so next up, I'd like you to lay down, okay, um, face up, so I can take a look at your tummy mm -hmm. and inspect your abdominal area. That face. Okay, are you comfy? Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to begin by doing a visual inspection of your abdominal area. Is it okay if I um, lift your top? And is it okay if I lower your pants a little bit? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just going to look at the color of your abdomen and the skin.
going to check the temperature of your abdomen. Okay, normal temperature. No signs of any distension, no enlargement that is notable visually. Okay, I'm going to begin by doing a light palpation and I'm going to check for the size of your internal organs. I'm going to be looking for any masses, trying to feel any lumps or bumps. Mm -hmm. So just, just relax. masses are being felt okay I'm going to assess the size of your liver if you can lift your legs up a little so that the abdominal muscles are not in the way okay let's see take a deep breath in and exhale out I can feel the tip of the liver, no bumps. Spleen is not enlarged. Good. Next up, I'm going to feel your um, cardiac pulse and um, attempt to feel the point of maximum impulse on the mid-clavicular line at the fifth intercostal space. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's normal. Pressing down on the kidneys. Take a deep breath in and out. Good. Not able to feel them. All right. I'm going to ask the abdomen next. Continue breathing normally. I'm hearing a low pitched gurgling sound, which is normal. It is heard in all four quadrants. At the normal rate of one, two. About three sounds every five minutes. Okay. I'm going to check your aortic artery. Good. 
take a deep breath in and out. Good. And I'm going to switch to the bell side for the more superficial sounds. Bowel movements are heard. Very good. All right, next up I'm going to do a percussion of your tummy and your chest. So go ahead and just relax. I'm looking for the resonance. Good. 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 dullness and a good level of resonance. I'm going to go ahead and use my medical hammer to tap on your rib cage and check the bone integrity. And checking for the abdominal reaction. Good. Checking the elasticity of your skin. Do you feel this? Yes. That's tall. Do you feel this? Mm -hmm. That's sharp. Okay, go ahead and keep your eyes closed and tell me if you feel tall or sharp. to go ahead and move towards your legs and your feet next. Okay. Your legs have an even temperature, no excess sweating noted. to begin by palpating your calcaneus bone. Any pain right here? No. Good. Don't run. 
this other side. Inspecting the plantar region of your feet. One mole is noted, less than two millimeters, one color, well defined borders, I'm not concerned. Capillary refills within two seconds, which is normal. I'm going to inspect in between your toes. Good, you have a normal response. Can you wiggle your toes here? Good. And over here, good. No moles, no hidden melanomas. Good. Can you wiggle your toes? Perfect. going to pinch your calf muscle. Good neurological response. Over on your right foot as well. Just let your foot loose. Good. Perfect. All right. Next up, I'm going to spray some water on one of your feet. Tell me if it's the left or the right one. Explore the bone integrity. I'm going to press down on your toes and I want you to try to wiggle 
the one that you feel a pressure on. And can you wiggle it now? Good. 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 And um, now I'm going to lift your toes up and down and I want you to tell me if it goes if they go up or down so this is up this is down good good and let's do the same test here Wiggle it till you feel a pressure on. It's kind of hard to bring just this one up. Good. 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 Okay. Next up, I'm going to touch you with. Um, one or two cold objects and I want you to say one or two. I'm also going to touch you with something sharp and to say yes when you feel it. pressure on your legs down good I'm going to attempt to bring them together don't let me do that resist good and I'm going to perform a circular motion I want you to tell me if you feel any pain when I'm doing that no. good. any pain here any pain here? No. Good. Painful here? 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 Good. Okay, you can come back up now so I can take a look. Jamila, I'm going to take a look at your back next. Is it okay if I put your hair up in a ponytail? Sure. Okay. even temperature distribution 
just going to take a look at the moles on your back to see if I spot any of them that are abnormal. They're all one color, well-defined porters. Not seeing anything abnormal. The pack has expected level of symmetry. I'm going to feel your spine next. Okay, spine is straight. going to do some tapping on the spine to check for any abnormal reactions and I want you to let me know if you feel anything that's a sharp shooting pain and it's happening. Good. I'm also going to percuss the spine. Not hearing any hyper resonance. Right. Next up, I'm going to slide this tuning fork down your spine very slowly. And um, I want you to tell me if you feel any abnormal reactions. Unexpected level of sensitivity is noted. Good. Okay. Shoulders are even. I'm going to check the scapulas in the back. All right, I'm also going to listen to your lungs. Take a deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Okay, I can continue breathing normally. Can you whisper one, two, three now? One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. Good. I'm not able to hear the whisper through the stereoscope, so that's normal. All right. 
can turn around now. All right, Jamila. How do you feel so far? Okay. All good? Mm -hmm. All right. Very relaxed. I'm happy for that. Next up, I'm going to check your reflexes and I'm going to use my medical hammer for that. And I'm going to tap on your elbows, your wrists, your knees mm -hmm. and your um, ankles. Okay. Let's start with this arm. And if you can lift it just like that now, leave the weight on my hand. Okay, good. Let's try again. Try to move it like that. Good, perfect. And let's try over on this side as well. Okay, give me all the weight. Good, perfect. And leave all your hand weight on my hand. Good. Same with this one. Yep. Give me all the weight. Good. Perfect. And your knees. Okay, that's one. Perfect. All right, Jamila, this concludes the assessment for today. Um, I did a very thorough neurological assessment of your whole body. And there is some sensitivity that you have, especially on your feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, nothing too concerning, but I do want us to monitor it. So I recommend that you come back in a few weeks. Sure. Thank you so much.